Alright, hello and welcome back to Fallout 4. Um, last time, uh, we sort of like stopped midway through an adventure that was to the southern side of this island. Um, the Dalton family was seeking revenge and so we, uh, we sought vengeance on uh, the husband of the family and uh, took out the, uh, the main leader, which is awesome. And then uh, what we did was we sort of like made our way back and on our way we actually made it to Cranberry Island Bog which is a hugely awesome place. Incorporates some of that um, like special required things in order to uh, to activate um, power pylons and stuff. Some really good stuff that harkens back to the, the old style of having to really invest in a build and have it, you know, actually you have being used. Um, but yeah, so then we did that and we head back. Uh, to our place, drop some stuff off, and uh, yeah, right now we're uh, we're actually seeking out uh, a heretic of the children of Adam, trying to figure out what happened to them. It seems from uh, from the things that we've uh, um, read, or actually, have we? Oh, have I not picked it up yet? Let me check. Oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. But yeah. This is it. Done. The messages are posted. I... I know it could mean my life, but the children must know. I was paging through a pre-war tome when I saw it. The atom. A tiny speck of matter surrounded by endless Well then. Let's start off with some crazy stuff. The lie that is Adam. It's not real. We aren't all infinite worlds. Just empty space. Dead. Cold. Hey, Sable. Nothing. The professor won't be pleased by my messages. But I'm not afraid. I'm going to start moving things by the West Access Road in case. In case they decide to join me. I. I just hope I'm not too late to save them from Adam's lies. Alright, sweet. Wait, what is that? Oh shit, that looks awesome. Holy crap, I'll have to uh, take a look at that later. Let me, uh, let me copy and paste that. That sounds amazing. Freaking miniatures. Um, but yeah, so, uh, basically, uh, we've sort of learned that, um, uh, Gwyneth basically got a hold of, of some sort of pre-war um, I can only assume like science textbook and uh, learned more about what Adam actually is and um, the children of Adam they believe that it like within them are like thousands of universes sort of like a multiverse theory but sort of going on the micro scale and looking within yourself to have infinite universes which is kind of interesting uh, but she read a science textbook, and she's like, wow, this is all kind of bullshit. So, uh, so yeah. Now, I am going to just say off the bat, because I feel like this needs to be addressed, I'm going to be treating this series a little bit differently than I did previously. We are sort of getting to the point where we're starting to see things unravel a little bit, unfortunately. Um, from my research, I can only, like, figure out that the reason why I can't save my game sometimes is because of something called save game bloating where there's basically too much information in your save game obviously made worse by mods because there's more information than it would be normally but um it's a common thing in Bethesda games where you get save game bloat and usually there are things that you can do to fix that but unfortunately there's not um, anything for Fallout 4 as of yet that can fix it so uh, basically the way that we're going to sort of continue this series is we're basically going to muscle through it, just do as much as we can, and then basically, like, there'll probably be a point in the night where, like, I keep losing data because it, there's just too much going on or something or my computer just won't handle it. So we'll switch over to The Witcher because I don't want to, like, stop midway through, right? So we'll basically just muscle through it, you know, as, as long as the game allows me to save, we'll keep going. Once it stops, like, allowing me to save, we'll just switch to something different. That way, we're still doing something, right? So, we saved good. So, awesome. Let's continue.
But yeah, it, in my last series, I had this saving problem as well, and it was it was only the D DLC areas. It was only Nuka World, so yeah, it seems ugly, or it seems like it's rearing its ugly head again. Um, but I think if we go back to the Commonwealth, we'll be fine. It does mean that there might be some things in Far Harbor I might not do, just for like you know, less pressing of time. Um, yeah, so the thing is, you actually increase instability by removing mods midway through a playthrough, as well as adding mods. So yeah, you can't actually do that. Stop! This is a sacred place! Why have you come here? Are you seeking the truth of nothing? The children of Adam want you dead. You need to stop defiling their holy sites. I can't. I have a duty that is greater than myself. One that is worth any sacrifice. The children of Adam have been deceived by Martin, by Tectus. It's a false gospel, all of it. What they don't want you to know is that Adam is but a tiny moat in the vastness of nothing. Nothing is the true nature of existence. I have seen it with my own eyes. A void so vast and empty, like a night sky without stars. I know it is difficult to accept, but you must. And so must the others. They deserve to know the truth. Right, Saber, right. see here. You seem... Here we go. What if you misunderstood what you saw and overreacted? Do you really believe that everyone is wrong about Adam, except you? I can't... Uh, that wasn't what I meant to pick. I can't think about that now. I have strayed so far from the path. I don't dare look back. Here we go. If you stay here, you're as good as dead. You need to leave this island and never come back. Hmm. There's wisdom in your words. If I cannot save the children of Adam from their blindness, perhaps I can spread the word elsewhere. Yes. Nothing's will becomes more clear to me now. I must spread the message to all who will hear, no matter how far the journey. You should tell Richter and the others that I'm dead can't risk them following me. Thank you for opening my eyes to that which I could not see. Okay, cool. Awesome. Well, actually, what's what's funny about me adding more mods is it makes it so that I have to do less research my next series. Because essentially, like, new stuff comes out all the time, right? When it comes to uh, Fallout 4 mods, or Skyrim mods, or any mods, really. So, um, basically, every time I do a series, I keep an active list of mods. So that the next time around, I don't have to, like, add too many during the series. Because I've already, like, looked at some more while I'm... It's kind of like, I'm actually doing a playthrough oh, and a mod, like, spotlight. At the same time. The war looks like. There we go. But yeah, basically my next playthroughs, you know, will be that much more better because I, you know, won't add, be adding as much mid playthrough. I'll basically have all the mods that I want in the beginning, which would be nice. Yes. But that also doesn't stop the influx of mods that keep coming. So. <laughs> Might just be in the same exact spot I'm in every single time I have a modded playthrough. Oh well. Ah, overdue book, nice. I think 
Nuke Nuka Grape is actually really decent. Oh gosh, why'd you come through here? Oh, and yeah, by the way, I did a little bit of research on the, uh, that one quest in Vault 118. And apparently, like, in order to fix the, the problem I'm having where I can't get to the uh, lower you lobby and whatnot, the, uh, the best thing so for the us to do would be to go back to a save previous uh, to that, which is no longer available. So, um, instead we're just gonna have to toggle collision through the wall and we can, uh, we can get the quest started basically by uh, getting into a uh, conversation. But yeah, it's, it's a common uh, problem, even in unmodded uh, Fallout. Still saving. We're we'll keep going. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, save wolf. Yep. You're exactly right. Also, when when am I ever just like one to see logic? I mean, come on now. I do contradict. I contradict myself on a daily basis. <laughs> this would actually seem like a pretty decent uh, settlement. All right, let me see. Whoa, whoa! Oh. <laughs> And Togmeat got the Weed Whacker. Not something I expected. Alright, let's see here. Get some more things here, and then yeah, we'll probably start with that quest. Um, actually, I don't think we're too over encumbered. We might do another quest out here, we'll see. Yeah, at some point I really want to do Dima's Memories. And uh, I'd like to sort of do all of the uh, Children of Madam quests, at least the ones that don't cause me to like go against the morals of my character. Like so far we've, um, so far we've actually tricked the Children of Madam both times that they've given us a quest, right? This quest, we're basically telling them that we killed a heretic. No, we're actually setting them free and allowing them to spread their uh, their views further in the world. And not only that, but on the uh, on the uh, mission before that, they wanted us to basically make a contamination arch that shot radiation at people, and we made it so that it did the exact opposite and takes away or does nothing. I can't remember which. There's no rain no rain never, no more. I find one oh, shit. Yeah, right, right. There's some sort of tower up here, though. Let's check that out. I do not remember a tower. Is there a good way up this way? Wait, wait. I do not remember this last time I was here. Hmm. Um, yeah, being, being, it, it takes a lot of practice, Save Wolf definitely does. Cool. Do I hear a storm coming? Yeah, I don't remember this area at all. Dead settler. Oh, radio means. Wait, radio means now? I did it. I can't believe I actually managed to get the radio wired to the tower. The guy on the radio is a doofus, uh, but he's kind of funny. Uh, better turn the sound down though. Uh, don't want to distract unwanted attention. Yeah, I'm, I bet that's pretty much exactly what happened. <laughs> right, right. Well, think of it. Think of it this way, Saber. Right? Uh, there are that much less people in my chat who would who would you know 
be less tactful with the, uh, you know, their points of view in conversation, right? <laughs> nice. You know, everybody, everybody in my chat is basically awesome, right? And uh, I know I keep just the awesome ones. <laughs> But there's there's not too many too many people who uh, who mess with uh, this channel, which is kind of nice. Uh, let me see here. Looks like we crashed. We did save recently, so that's not too much of an issue. But uh, yeah, yeah. Gosh, it would be a shame to only play for 16 minutes and then have to switch over to a Witcher. I mean, granted, I love The Witcher, but I, I, I'd hate uh, to think that I have to like give up this series. All right, I think yeah, we just got back from uh, that lady telling her to uh, to leave the island permanently. But yeah, I think the uh, the save item is actually a little bit uh, safer for us than uh, the sleeper save option. One thing I noticed that was disturbing when I was looking through my save files was um, some of the save files were actually a .tmp file, like a temporary file. So I found that to be very strange. Oh yeah, you know, when we were in the Vim factory, there was um there was a few terminal entries about people attacking uh Vim transports. Which was kind of weird. Yeah, and then sometimes it's not. Like uh, it's kind of weird. I, I have no idea how that works. Maybe those are all the incomplete or like really long taking mo or like saves that I try to do. I don't know. It's Trying to make sense of what going on, what's going on in uh, in my computer as it, like you know pertains to this game is just guesswork at this point. All right. Um, no, we're not dropping frames. Well, at least from. Yeah, I don't think we dropped any frames. At least I don't think so. Sometimes things do get a little weird though, so that, that'll occasionally happen. Take the little in the can. Although, it's kind of weird though. Sometimes the game itself will drop the frames, not my stream. So sometimes it gets a little bit weird, which one is actually dropping the frames. was a wolf over here last time. Seem to be safe. Yeah, let's try to grab the uh, the tower again. Except this time I won't use the uh, that sleeping safe thing. second I thought there was something out there it's uh it's just no it's it's my dudes clipping through the wall it's fine oh really interesting saber huh yes oh, hey you got a hardened sniper rifle nice oh shit are we under attack oh shit yeah Well, that thing flew. I don't think we actually need wolf meat for anything. Um, hmm. Interesting mountain path. I 
Oh, we are over it. Oh, I was like, what kind of path are we on right now? No, we're actually on top of the Children of Adam, currently. Alright. Watch yourself out. Sweet. Oh, by the way, I did change the, um, the difficulty back to survival, since apparently it makes no difference what, um, mode of difficulty I'm in. There we go, let's save that. Yeah, my radiation doesn't actually decrease. I think this just shoots purified water. Oops. Alright, let's report back. And then I think there's a Sometimes mission we can actually do in the nucleus the itself. Right about someone they uh, they think is a traitor. Have you finished your prayers already? Sister Gwyneth won't be troubling you any longer. She brought it on herself. Won't ask you for the details. Doesn't really matter to me. You've done well. Proved your devotion, and more important, your loyalty. Adam smiles on you today, brother. So, was this a paying job? Do not fear. You will be recognized for your dedication. Here, take this. It's not just a weapon, it's one of our sacred artifacts. Go forth and show no mercy to the enemies of Adam. Oh, shit! This weapon! That is some juicy stuff right there. Uh, so yeah, Adam's Judgment. Um, in my last series, I did something very interesting with this weapon. Essentially, because we have Legendary Modification, I can take Adam's Judgment off of it, which is the plus 100 radiation damage, and I reattached that Legendary Modification to Lorenzo's Artifact, so it shot like a crazy amount of radiation. Um, which rivaled like a normal Gamma Gun, but, uh, very nice. Ooh, we leveled up. Sweet. Alright, I think, yeah, I'm still raising up Heavy Gunner. Awesome. That way we can eventually use a Gatling Laser, Broadsider, the frickin' cannon, as well as, um, the minigun that we have, Ashmaker. All right, so let me see here. I believe, yep, mm-hmm. So we have to help the confessor, and we have to search the bunker of someone they uh, think to be a heretic or a traitor, which we're going to help. Gosh, why are the buzzers on? Can we stop these buzzers? Holy shit. Far Harbor had yeah. their chance to Did it did like a did a new like it's game come out or something like that? Now. Yeah, I'm wondering what's going on as well. Brothers Alders. I believe you're underestimating uh, Brother Elders, um, Richter, um, and the hold Martin still has on him. Martin was weak, uh, and so was Elders. But there's a simple way to know the truth. Take Elders outside with Sister Harper, ask the two of them to demonstrate their devotion to the family. Ah, yeah, that was that thing we saw when we first came in. Yeah, quite day. I mean, I did change my schedule recently, so those expecting Witcher are not seeing Witcher, and those expecting Fallout are, like, waiting for tomorrow. I'm not sure, though. Wait, is that a thing? Huh. Okay, cool. 
to all my European viewers, and there are a lot of you. Happy Europe Day. <laughs> you know, as just, you know, How the you typical I ignorant American speech? fuck I am, um, I don't even know what the hell's going on, so. Or do you think he has to say the words aloud? Oh, so says Wikipedia. Gotcha. We need the key. Strange footlock. Last radius board game? Ah. Need those aluminum cans. Gosh, why does the buzzer have to go off, though? Through the fog? Alright, so it looks like there's only a few ways spotted. to go from here. Ah, here we are. It's a glow torch. Honestly though, how can how can anybody actually like live in here at all? Like really? Scamp, you're gonna have to go through that door again. There you are. If you're looking for the crypt, you took a wrong turn. My job to take care of this place. You touch anything, I'm taking the limb. Understand? You said it was your job to take care of this place? The vessel, yes. One of the most powerful sources of glow on an island full of it. My job to make sure it's looked after. You get in the way of that, you'll have to answer to Adam. But first, you'll have to answer to me. Adam will get what's left. Hmm. What can you tell me about the sub? Never launched anything, if that's what you're asking. Never even made it out of the bay during the Great Division. All the better. Preserved it for us. Great Division? What's that? Adam's Great Division? 200 years ago, thousands, millions across the world, reborn in an instant, given over to Adam. These days, we take the scenic route, extended exposure to the glow. <laughs> Long division, huh? Suppose I'll be on my way. Good. Okay, interesting. Ah, wait, there's a locker here. Or not? Oh. There's a... Maybe it's saying it's in this area? Oh boy. Might have to do a little bit of searching here to see what's going on. Yeah, it looks like there's... Maybe something here? That's right. Ah, here we go. Edgar's no. Uh, my dear Albert, um, you worry too much? Even if the High Confessor is still having trouble getting over his past uh, closeness with Martin, Richter is a friend. If there's a problem, the Grand Zealot would tell me. That said, if you, uh, that said, I think you should, that you and I should continue using our footlocker in the storage room to share messages. Uh, you know how gossip spreads in this place. I wouldn't want you to get drawn into any more undue intrigue. And in case uh, yours is wandered off again, I've hidden the spare key behind in a bench entry uh, locker room, just in case. Counting the moments until we're together, Edgar. Hmm, okay. Secret correspondence going on. Is that a pip boy? Let me see her. I okay, one of them should be down this way. Ah, over that way. Huh. Oh shit. There's the foot locker key. Wow. I wonder if that was there beforehand. Like, could you have gotten those keys, like, as soon as you got into the Nucleus the first time? That'd be interesting to know. Or if it's 
sometimes they do one of those sorts of things where they'll they'll say oh it's right there and it's been there all along but really it's only till you activated the quest sometimes that happens adam has laid a path for us all we need only look for the signs all right albert's note Inventory miscellaneous. Albert's note. Grenzelt says it was an accident. You wandered off alone, and he couldn't um, get to you in time. I couldn't br couldn't bring uh, you back. He's lying. I know because uh, you'd never do something that foolish. None of them ever admit to it. Uh, but this was uh, Tectus. Um, he had you killed because or. What? Because uh, he's terrified of Martin. Because Tectus knows Martin was the only one worthy of running his, this family. Adam above, I need you, Edgar. You tell me uh, what to do right now. What keeps coming to mind? Um, I know is a bad idea. Uh, until we're together again. Oh shit! So they um. Interesting. So it looks like they um. They got rid of, um, wasn't there another one over here? Looks like they got rid of Auburn. No way to pick this. Hmm. Why would you wear such a thing? You'll never be divided if you don't keep yourself over to the cloud. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a radiation protection suit right now. Oh hey, my health restored for some reason. Sister Obear. I found this note you penned about the High Confessor. Something like this could get you in a lot of trouble. My note? My note? Uh, listen, uh, I, I was mad. The High Confessor's a good man. I, I, I wouldn't. I, please, please, just, just, just let me have it back and then I'll get rid of it. We can pretend this never happened. Please. I might be inclined to help you if... I heard the jangle of some cats. Yeah, here. Everything I've got. So, you'll keep this secret? Let me have my note? Maybe the purified water helped me out. You trying to look? No matter what I do, you're not safe here. Hey, Derp Joe, how's it going? You need to leave now. Shit, you're right. Shit. Just um, give me a little time before you say anything, all right? Please. No, no. If if anything, uh, Saber, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to turn everybody against uh, the children of Adam. Oh my goodness! Thank you for the bits, Derp. Thank you so much, Derp Joe. Many would do harm to Adam's faithful. Visit Brother Cain. High Confessor. Far Harbor claims another of our brethren. Their demise cannot come soon enough. But, I'm sorry, dear. You needed something. Uh, earplugs for one. I wanted to talk to you about Sister Aubert. Hmm. Yes. Tell me. What did you find? I looked into her, but it seems that Sister Aubert is loyal. You've got nothing to worry about. Really? Hmm. I must say I'm surprised. Well, you've nonetheless lifted a weight from my shoulders. Here, for your effort. Your service to Atom will not be soon forgotten. Oh my gosh, it's the crazy Inquisitor's cowl. Oh, I for this thing's awesome. Holy shit. Yeah, where's intelligence increases with radiation? Oh man, I forgot about that. That thing's awesome. Alright. So I think that actually completes all of the Children of Adam quest line? Yeah, completed optional help the High Confessor. Alright, so let me check that out then. Yeah, and I completed what Adam requires. Nice. 
So I've, I've done all the quests for that. I should probably do the quests for uh, the other place as well. Yeah, right. Consider wearing that hat for the Raider playthrough, right? Nice. Excuse me, High Confessor. Ah, hello, child. To what do I owe the honor of such a visit? One of these. All right, so I want to get access to Dima's memories. So let's let's do that. Gosh, scam. Those memories you've been wanting to access? I found a way to unlock them. You have? Atom above, child. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. Sweet. Why a child of Adam would live anywhere but the nucleus, I will never understand. I'm trying to save right now. Oh boy. Save, please. I know, I'm crossing my fingers too. Sometimes it just takes a little bit and I'm like too impatient to wait. That happens. Alright, I'm just gonna give it a second because I don't want to lose all that. Basically, I did save when we went in this building, but you know, having to do all those quests again would kind of suck. But yeah, the, like, the more we sort of do this, I, I am thinking that maybe it's time to drop this playthrough, unfortunately. Yeah, I, it's, it's, it's getting a little ridiculous at this point, and it seems like nothing can fix it. Um, I mean, in my last series, the problem was I had to get, like, something updated, like, there was some mod conflict, and, uh, like, as soon as, um, the script extender updated, it was fine. Uh, but, uh, but yeah. Right. But yeah, so, um, we'll see how this goes. But yeah, if this keeps happening like this, especially so early on in the stream, we're only like 30 minutes in and we're already having like multiple crashes. Um, it's a shame too, you know? Like, if it crashed any other time, it'd be fine. But the fact that it saves when I crash is like absolutely awful. Yeah, right, fault for it, yeah, right, right. Either I would have to, like, uninstall a whole bunch of mods introducing instability, or, like, something else like that would be kind of crazy trying to, to figure out what exactly the problem is, because it could be a ton of things, honestly. But yeah, it doesn't help that I think my, uh, my saves are currently bloated. Well, alright, um, you know, there is the off chance that it did actually save that progress. Sometimes it does work. It's kind of weird. Probably Saber. Probably gonna just... If this continues to be an issue like this, we'll probably just go to Witcher 3. Yeah, because I, I think at this point... It's pretty much stuck. Although, notice how that doesn't have a thing on it. Hmm. No. Yeah. It's a bit of a crapshoot. Sometimes it saves and sometimes it doesn't. And basically every time it doesn't save, I'd really want it to save. So yeah, unfortunately, um, I think this is going to be um, a hiatus series. Um, 
along with uh, more Oblivion, unfortunately. We're basically, you know, something got screwed up along the way, um, and uh, yeah. No, 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 not at all, Coldzilla. No, no, um, no. The the game's basically too effed up for me to continue. Is what's happening. Yeah, yeah, too corrupted to finish. So, um, yeah. Not really, Derp Joe. I, I I don't really have the time off camera to like start a new Fallout series and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, um, you know, we we had a good run of it. I mean, I would have to really go out of my way to, like, basically try to uninstall mods and, and see, like, what the problem is and if uninstalling mods even solves the problem. Like, it could be, like, base game, like, Bethesda engine stuff, like, I can't do anything about. So, uh, so yeah, unfortunately it looks like this is going to be, uh, the end of the series. Um, at least until I can figure out what's going on, which, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, MCT. Yeah, we're gonna go back to Morrowind eventually. Um, I think I might go full Witcher 3 for a long time, um, just because I've been really enjoying the game, and, uh, and yeah, so we'll probably switch to Witcher after this. But, uh, but yeah, so basically how this is gonna work is I'm gonna call this the hiatus finale, uh, where essentially we're gonna hold the series off until either mods or script extenders get updated or I mess around with the mods and experiment long enough that I actually get stable saving, um, figured out. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, we'll put that on hiatus. I know, Derp, yeah, yeah, so I'll, I'll consider adding some more stuff. It's just that as it is currently because of my schedule, I won't really have enough time to, like, add another series, right? Because I have to mod everything again, and oh, there's a lot of stuff involved with starting a new series. Can't just install a game and play it, because I love modding stuff. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm going to call this the uh, hiatus finale um, until I can figure out how to fix it. Um, but yeah, so this will um, be sort of like the, the last hiatus episode of uh, a Fallout for uh, a little while. Uh, but yeah, so um, I'm going to uh, switch over to Witcher 3 actually. Um, and I guess I'm going to switch my schedule over to be Witcher 3 pretty much full time until I can figure out what's a good alternate series. Uh, but yeah, so, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I, sorry, I'm sorry this happens, but to a certain extent it's out of my control, and I guess until I figure out what the problem is, it might be a little bit in my control, well, but we'll have to see how that works out. Um, but yeah, so I will uh, put on the title screen and I will switch over to Witcher 3 and be back in a second. So, see you in a bit.